What's up guys, Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. We are doing a light bar install today on the truck, hanging out with my friend Alex Leica and his guys. So I picked up a brand new Falcon 18 inch light bar. This was the one that Alex used. Yeah, he messaged me on Instagram. We just got to know each other after that. Uh, but the Falcon 18 inch light bar, it's from uh, LED Equipped. On Amazon, it's 169, I believe. So I'll make sure to leave a link in the description if you guys wanna check that out and you guys are in the market. Uh, I bought it off of Amazon. It was here a couple days later with Prime. So we are now able to hook it up, of course, waiting last minute before the snowstorm that we're gonna get on Saturday. So here's the box that came in. We have to drill a couple holes in the back rack mounts because the LED light bar has the magnets on it and it's a little too wide. All right, so here is the 18 inch LED light bar. Now I went with the white and yellow, the amber and white option. Alex, you had the yellow one, right? Yeah. So he told me to get the white and yellow, it pops. So here's the two brackets, the L brackets. We have to drill a new hole because of the spacing on the rail here, but nothing crazy. Pretty straightforward. Looking good. It doesn't right. help that it's zero degrees outside. Dude, I literally have been shooting videos all week. It's like 10 degrees. It, dude, it went from like 40, 50 degrees here in Michigan. Oh, there's a salter here. It went like from like 40 and 50 degrees in Michigan down to like 10 degrees in a week. All right, guys, so here is the design right now. Here's what we got going on. It's all lit up. Now, again, this was the amber and white design. Uh, not the prettiest of installs, you know, we'll uh, probably get another plate welded in between here to bridge the gap. In the meantime, that'll do for, uh, you know, getting things moving until I get some more time and we'll do a little custom design here. All right, so we're bringing it all the way in. What we're going to do is zip tie it up here. We got the excess on the back of the seat and we're just using the rear uh, cigarette lighter. And this is our controller. Super simple, we got the on and off for the different colors and all the different modes are in the middle cycle through them and looking pretty good all right guys kind of tough to see inside of the truck but i wanted to show you this so most of you guys know got the twin panel moonroof on the truck and i can see the light bar from the inside how cool is that that is some serious thug life right there so that's how i can tell if it's on besides the obvious of seeing it reflect off all the buildings in the tech drive i'm in all right guys as you can see this thing is super bright something like 30 uh, different ways it can flash. You got the white and amber, so it looks really, really cool. I like it. Here's another shot from the back. Man, that thing is super bright. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap this one up. So a couple different days here to put this whole bad boy together. As you guys can see, we got the whole light bar fully installed. Now, again, I do have to weld a cross beam to the bottom of this to square it off. This right here has held up for two days now. Bumps, dirt roads, potholes, Michigan roads. So it's pretty uh, pretty strong and it seems to be lasting. Not gonna keep like that forever, just a couple days till we can weld a cross beam on. But nonetheless, a lot of you guys have been asking where do I get the light bar? I'll make sure to leave a link in the description if you guys wanna check it out. Outside of that, I do have it in the Amazon affiliate store. So a lot of you guys have been supporting our channel by using those Amazon affiliate links and checking out our Amazon store. I did throw in for this one. I spent my own money on it. Like I said, it was about $170 on Amazon. There's tons of color combinations and options for you. Uh, so if you guys are in the market for a new light bar and you want to support our channel, in my opinion, this was kind of like the best value uh, that I saw out there at the best price point. And uh, so far it has been working great. Again, I want to say a big shout out and thank you to my man, Alex Leica for helping me install this thing here on a Thursday a freezing blistering cold morning so a big thank you to him and his guys for helping me out putting this thing together I'm gonna wrap this one up if you guys got any questions or comments definitely leave them in the comment section down below and I'll make sure to answer them as soon as I can guys thanks so much for watching myself Brian here with Brian's Law Maintenance don't forget to like and subscribe and guys we'll catch you on the next one